We'll just paint, Throw some paint, paint on it. over it. We put this much work in, we might as well do that last little bit to have it be a, a decently nice finish. <laughs> I'm crying. I can't hear you. <laughs> Guys, it's me, Jasmine, Jade's favorite sister. This is a shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. We are Brett and Jade Evans. We decided to go for our dreams and purchased the direct sailboat. We're working hard to restore it and to document the journey with new episodes every week. Subscribe and join us on our greatest expedition yet. I've been standing here debating whether or not I should go for the grinder or the sander. And I've decided I'm gonna go for the grinder. Basically, I'm gonna come in any of these edges. I'm gonna taper those all out so that it'll go really nicely when I pour the resin and do the peel ply. The first things first, I am going to clean up. That way, when I start grinding, I can just keep grinding until it's done. Denim jeans, broken dreams in my pocket. Golden thing around my the grinder's a lot faster, which is why I'm gonna use it today because I'm just going for speed. But with the grinder, there's also a much higher risk of gouging too deep or letting it slip just because it's such a powerful tool. This can dig in real deep real quick, so you definitely have to be careful and be mindful. Gonna be no problem. Let's just try to knock this out as fast as possible. <laughs> Holy goodness, that took forever, but everything's ground. I did the first pass with the vacuum. Definitely gonna need a lot more cleaning, but hey, hey, it's possible that I'll never have to pick up that grinder again, at least not for this project, which is actually super cool. So we've <sighs> come a long way, guys. We have come a long way. <sighs> awesome. Uh, uh, the rain feels really, really nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna change into clothes that I can epoxy in. Since these clothes don't have very much epoxy on them yet, I'm gonna try to keep it that way. And then once all the dust has settled, I can clean and not have to worry about it settling more on top of my work. Okay. Hi, I missed ya. Ironing out the peel ply. One problem. Pennifer, can you please get off of it? Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Here's what's up. I'm back, I'm gonna get cleaning, and then I'm gonna get to work on the layup. I think I'm gonna start with laying the new glass before worrying about the peel ply. At this point in the layup, the camera died, and I knew that it died, but I was so covered in epoxy and I had already started so I couldn't stop. So what you guys missed is I finished laying up that whole pocket and then I put the peel ply on it. Then I put fresh gloves on and then I could touch the GoPro. I changed the battery out and started on the battery box pocket. By this point, I had already been physically working on the boat for 15 hours. And so it was just, I was just so trash. Working on this pocket, like I couldn't reach, pretty much no matter where I set up, I couldn't reach very well. It was a nightmare. And then when I thought it couldn't get any worse, peel ply happened. I don't think I've ever hated anything as much as I hated doing the peel ply. It was a nightmare to do by myself. It was just so frustrating. I'll be honest, today, today sucked. <laughs> A lot of working on this boat is super fun and I love it, but today was not fun. Sometimes some days suck. And if I pretended to be all happy and cheery, then that would be a lie. Trying to keep it real, keep it raw. Okay, talk to you guys in the morning. Look who I found. 
it's laundry day and all I have left is like this dress. And it's a little too big, so don't make fun of it. <laughs> Brett looks nice though. <laughs> Brett has returned to us and now we're gonna go back to the boat and peel the fly I put down last night. So yeah, huge zipper. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. That did a pretty good job. Interesting texture. That's pretty. That's pretty good if I could say so myself. This one was the one that was causing me to throw things and yell at expletives. I can see that. <laughs> So here's what we're gonna try today. I'm pretty sure applying the peel ply will go a lot easier with two people. We'll pick where we're gonna put it. We'll wet it down with the epoxy. Let it get kind of tacky to fill in all of those like textured areas. And then we'll go over it with some more wet epoxy and then put the peel ply down. So I think then we'll have enough to get us a nice smooth texture. We've managed to make it this far in the project without this happening, but it has happened. The bucket tipped over, and I didn't notice. So now we have half of a bucket and a glove <laughs> in a puddle of epoxy. So, fun story, when we bought Dory, our first solo. <laughs> we were doing some work on it, and under one of the benches we found a paintbrush, just like epoxy, like, like a paperweight. You can see it. There's actually a paintbrush, fiberglass to the ground. And we're like, how does this happen? We have a lot more sympathy. <laughs> this is how it happens. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. We'll just paint, Throw some paint, on paint it. over it. All right, I need a grinder. Mixing up some of our silica epoxy concoction, <laughs> our fairing compound, because here in the bottom in a lot of our layup work, there's the occasional handprint. <laughs> I'm shooting for a peanut butter consistency and we're just gonna fill it in, do a little fairing, make it all flat and level and, and nice, because we put this much work in, we might as well do that last little bit to have it be a, a decently nice finish. Pre-order season is over. We got all of our Let's shirts in and all of our Expedition Evans shirts in a giant delivery yesterday and they are ready to be shipped out. So for all of you guys who have been waiting for the pre-order to go into regular orders, the time is now. You can go check out our website. And this is where Squarespace comes in and why I'm so grateful that they are our sponsor because we are out here, as you can see, in the desert of our homeland. We have come to visit some family, but we got the shirts and we wanna take photos for the website. So we're gonna take some photos right now. And I know that Squarespace is just super easy to use and I'm gonna be able to drop the photo in for this video to go live tomorrow. And it's not gonna take very much of my time, which is super important because like I said, we're visiting family and we're finally trying to carve out some time off. But once again, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. Go check them out, squarespace.com. And when you wanna launch your own site, use our link in the description, squarespace.com slash expedition Evans, and you'll get 10% off your own website or domain. We'll see how it goes. It's certainly not perfect. There's still some bubbles and still some lumpiness, but I think there are less bubbles and less bumpiness than before. So if nothing else, it's better. It's not the best, but it's better. Now we're headed to Dave's garden. <laughs> he sent us pictures of fresh produce. So we're gonna go collect that. <laughs> Can't 
can't keep me contained. <laughs> that look, that looks pretty good. The stuff there on the on the left. Okay. Yeah. Should I just grab a? Yeah, grab a, a horse. Off? Grab a tree. Take a tree. Take, Take a, a tree. Take a tree. Okay. I'm over here like making love to this tomato and Brett's upset because I wasn't filming how excited I am. Homegrown tomatoes. They're my favorite thing in the entire world. If you ever meet me and want to make me real happy, <laughs> thanks Dave for the homegrown tomatoes. These are really, really, really good. <laughs> All right guys, <laughs> we're at Lowe's <laughs> and we're gonna go in and we're gonna get foam to, <laughs> I'm, I'm crying. I can't hear you vlog. Jade ripped arm hair out of me. <laughs> it was odd. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go get some foam insulation that we're gonna use to build out the, the elevation. Battery, battery tray. We need to go get some foam. Anything else from Home Depot, babe? Gloves if they have them. Gloves if they have them. And maybe Almond Joys. <laughs> you have grandma? Who is Almond Joys? People that are old white hair during the <laughs> renovation <laughs> is it white today no we didn't sand today or go under the boat i like that. almond joys what's wrong with liking almond joys nothing if you're born you know pre-1950 you know what boomers you've got good taste boomers. <laughs> i'm with you okay sure. <laughs> i am very happy they had small ones i thought for sure we were gonna have to buy like eight feet of it and that would have been fun in our little car. <laughs> Please place item in the bag. What are you doing? The phone goes in there. That's fine by me. Fine by me. <laughs> See, you know the song too. I like your beard. Google, you have a neck beard. Dang, girl. Before we dive into the next project, we are going to take a peek and see how we did on the last one. But I might need to sprout some more muscle. <laughs> hmm. I was panning because I expected it to go, but. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This actually is really very nice. I'm, I am very happy with that. Wow. Oh, that was the end of it and I did not expect to fly up. Whew. What did you say about being a grandma? Speaking of which, where's my almond tree? Do you want me to teach you a trick that I just learned? Sure. Doing that jerky push. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just learned to rip it in a jerky motion. It works a lot easier. <laughs> Babe, do a jerky motion. You're you like teriyaki or? You need a jerky. Ow. I'm happy to report there's no divot. We've just provided some texture to, the, to our bilge and a little bit of denim. <laughs> you were the peel ply. I, I was the peel ply. <sighs> All right, well. So our boat now has blood, sweat, tears, and denim? Blood, sweat, tears, and denim. <laughs> One little bit of peel ply left. Boat one, Jade zero. The boat probably has a lot more than one, and I probably have a lot less than zero at this point. A lot less than zero? <laughs> You're negative. It looks like the number one on the wall right there, actually. I'm so negative. The boat won. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm riding in fiberglass. Uh-huh. You're sanding or 
Well, good thing I've got to refinish all this eat anyway. Jade is zero. Negative zero. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Will it be ever learn? No, yeah, well, I think that's what was left over on my knee. <laughs> Too bad your feet are stuck. You need to take your sample off in there. <laughs> Just kidding. We want to do whatever blasting we're going to do tonight so that it can set up for tomorrow. So we actually got the styrofoam insulation stuff cut, learned that it is not compatible with the spray adhesive that we bought and melted. We are about to build a home for a homeless batteries right here. We have our foam insulation that we kept. It's basically just there to give the fiberglass some shape while it cures. The purpose of having it there is that this is where our battery boxes are going to sit. They're going to sit this way. They just need to be up off the bottom a little bit so that if water does get in there, it can flow underneath them and get to the drain port and get out to the pump and get pumped out. Uh, so we just don't want water getting stuck there. That's how it was originally, so we're just kind of mimicking how it was done from the factory. Today is a big day. Today we are hoping, we should be able to, still pretty early in the day, to be done with fiberglassing, done with epoxy, done with resin, done with everything, and then we should be done. There'll be some sanding and some little stuff, but that'll be done, fiberglassing and everything, but we gotta clean and do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just mixing up the epoxy. We're gonna get the silica going for the chain plates to even out some of the divots, and then if we have any left, we're going to fill in the corners over here in the galley. Yeah. Cheers. What's going on with our chain plates is there were two patches laid on top of it that we weren't really sure why they were there or if there was any damage done previously and then repaired. So we just kind of dug in and investigated and we're trying to discover, okay, what's factory, what's not. And in the process, you can see some bonder that we've taken out right here. So we just need to replace what we took off and then make it all nice. Uh, after our grinding um, explorations. Exploratory grinding. <laughs> Exploratory grinding. But we're very glad we did it because now we feel confident that they're good. We're just gonna repair it, I guess. It's not broken. We're just gonna smooth it all out again. While Brett gets going on the chain plates, I'm going to vacuum and get started on prepping the galley. Just get it all clean because we need to fair all those corners out. Finished up fairing out all the divots and everything. Used a little bit of silica out some epoxy. Got all smooth or smooth enough because I'm gonna put fiberglass on top of it. And then some places will sand like in the corners. I'm not gonna put fiberglass way over there, but that'll just sand out smooth again. It's all ready for glass. Just need to get the glass ready. I'm just sorting through our scrap fiberglass to find some pieces I can use. I'll get them cut up and start laying glass on our chain plates. Two galley pockets are the last pockets that have yet to receive fiberglass and today is their day. I need to fair and radius all the walls of the grid down to our hole and then I need to glass it just like we did with all the other pockets. I've just completed round one of fairing the edges. So the first thing I had to do was just kind of fill the gap between the grid and the hole. Just a reminder, that gap is because there used to be a tab that had like this much bonder underneath it. So since we removed the bonder, now there's a little bit of a gap, but it is in the right place. Once this sets up enough that it's like kind of tacky and not creating heat anymore, then I can put the next batch of fairing compound to create the radius and once we have that radius then I can lay the glass.
Chain plates are done. I put on several layers of glass, some places two, sometimes three, sometimes four, just depending on where it was to put the glass down. Very pleased with that. I think it looks great and it's definitely solid. It's again, more solid than it was before we sanded it. We got these two by sixes and now we're spreading the silica out over the top of the beams. Okay, so when we took off the tops of these beams, we left these side ones at the correct height. So it's very important that we get the height of our center beams to be the same as the height of our side beams because if we don't, then our floorboards will not go on correctly, which will cause a big problem. So right now we're building up the top of them with the silica. I'm gonna go cut some peel ply strips. We'll spread that out across our frosting and then we will put our board you get the idea <laughs> on top of that and it'll go from our port and starboard beams and everything at that point should be squished out until it's level <laughs> We totally did it! Brick. How excited are you? 10 for 10. 10 excited. for 10. 10 for 10. My goodness, come on. <laughs> Slightly frustrated as well, apparently. You can Complex do it. Complex emotions. Good job. 11 for 10. <laughs> We have laid the last piece of our glass. We will lay in this boat. Unless something dramatic happens and changes. <laughs> over here in the galley. It's quite dark over there, but that is all done. All the glass has been laid and now we have squished it. <laughs> squished it. We have squished. covered these in silica and squished it with well, this side we did plastic and this side we did peel ply. We didn't have enough peel ply to do both, so it's, it's a good experiment. And the uh, control group is this beam over here that has nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> and so tomorrow we'll peel these up and we will see how we did. I think it's going to be quite ugly, but flat and some sanding might make it look nice. Good job, babe. Yeah. The end nice. of the fiberglass saga, not quite the end of the silica saga. That slightly more than that. Slightly more. We've got to do this to those, but we didn't want to buy that many pieces of wood, so we decided to do it in two sets. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and join us next week because things are about to get official. We got our nut shirts! Nut <laughs> shirt. I'm really excited about it. They're so soft. Are you actually filming me? Yeah. <laughs>